Hello fellow nerds and coffee lovers. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the Peak Coffee Gen 3 V4 kit and the, all of the parts listed. So if you are interested in unboxing, I'll put it up here. And in no way is this a tutorial. I just noticed there was not a lot of pictures to go along with the parts list on the Peak Coffee website. So when I opened the package, I wasn't sure what everything was. And I've done some research and I've got lists of everything and some people asked for this so hopefully if you're interested in this project this is helpful to you so let's just get started this is the pcb v4 and it is gorgeous look at that purple let me see if i can get it to focus okay so that's kind of the main star of the show Next up is the display, and I'm going to try to go kind of the biggest, most complicated in the displays stuff first, and then end with the cables. So there we go. There's your 4.3 inch display. Beautiful. And then we have the USB flashing link, ST-Link flasher with its cable. Let's pop it open really quick. Okay. And here is your dual HX711 amplifier board with a ribbon cable. Next up is your TOFNLED module. So this is actually really, um, really interesting. So I asked uh, Peak, the creator of this project, about this. And there is an LED here, which helps with notifications. And then it's a time of flight sensor to help you with your water level. So I think that's really fun. RGB LEDs, cable included. Here is a micro SD branded Peak Coffee included with the kit. Okay, and then here we go. Here is your dual scale board. So it comes, for at least for this kit, it comes pre-soldered. There we go. And it actually comes with um, two extra load cells and I asked about this and it, it's because sometimes these don't work and people need to switch them out and rather than having you have to go and source them they're just included in the kit already because I, I heard they're hard to source and they can be difficult to source individually so you get those just provided right away which I think is really really great okay let's go on to the next stuff So here we go. This is a custom specialized pressure sensor. And if you look right here, it is branded Peak Coffee. It's a chunky boy. That's real, real heavy. Feels high quality. Okay. And here is a ceramic thermofuse. Oh, and I also want to mention none of this is sponsored. I paid full price for all of this and I'm just sharing with the community because uh, I think it's helpful. It's already been helpful for me to learn about these pieces. Okay. So the next part are these T fittings and the tube and a little cutter that comes with it. So here is the braided tube which you will need to cut down. And you do have two of these T-fittings included. I just saw on the Discord this morning that Lugal has actually designed a part that replaces this that is gonna be easier to install. Um, so if you get the newer kits, you should get that part. And I can see how that can be helpful because... Ugh. 
So it should. So I'm excited for that and really looking forward to learning more about that. If you're interested, Discord invite is going to be down below. I'm definitely not an expert on any of this, so I'm just sharing the parts. Here we go. Here is the solid state relay. Hopefully some nice clicky noises come out of that. Okay, now the last of the bits and bobs and then we will go on to the wires. So some zip ties, some wagos, a cute little screwdriver. We got screws and magnets, nice, and some clamps, some clampy clamps and some crimps. There we go. And now we are down to the wires. So these are HV wires and they connect to the Gagia harness. And of course you can find the wiring guide on the GitHub, which I will also link down below. And then here is, ugh. let's do these guys first. So these wires, this part connects to the PCB and then it goes down and this goes to LVSSR terminals. So we've got those and then we've got this guy that goes to the brew and steam switches and then it goes down to the V4 PCB. And we got this guy, which is an ungrounded thermocouple sensor. And there we go. And then these last ones are the LV harness V4 PCB to LCD. So I hope that this video helped you if you're interested in um, doing this project, if you've been looking into it. I know when I first got the kit, I was a little overwhelmed. I wasn't sure what everything was. So the, my first step was to find out what all the pieces are. And I just wanted to share that with the community um, in case it helps anybody. Next up, I'll be doing a test on this, hopefully in the next couple days. I'm planning on filming it tonight. And then um, also doing the 3D printing as well. So I'm planning on printing everything in uh, Clear Pet G. So I hope that's going to be kind of fun. And if you're interested in that, consider subscribing down below. And I just wanted to say thank you to um, ZeroBit for helping me understand what this is. And if you look at the Discord, there are tons of help articles. Um, a lot of people willing to, to help you in that community. So uh, I'll put the Discord down below. And I do recommend if you are going to purchase either the kit or the Lego build or, or whatever you do to do some research on the GitHub, and then also ask some questions on the Discord, look through the different channels, um, see what people have been talking about to help you kind of decide what and where to order from. And I did ask ZeroBit um, specifically, because I think maybe some people are going to be watching this before they start their build. So I asked, what advice would you give somebody who's new to this? ZeroBit said, don't rush anything. Don't be afraid to ask for help on the Discord and never work on the machine when it's plugged into the mains. I think that's wonderful advice. Highly recommend it. I'm definitely going to take it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Rando Tech Nerd out. I will catch you nerds on the next one. Bye.